In today's episode, I'm really excited to be giving my thoughts on a brand new release from Tom Ford's Private Blend Collection. This is called Cherry Smoke, which is a flanker to the hugely popular Lost Cherry from 2018. It has been out in America for a few weeks now, uh, but it was only officially launched here in the UK on the 2nd of January 2023. So I managed to pick up a bottle from Selfridges on launch day and I've given it a couple of full wearings now. So to find out what I think of this one and how it compares to the original Lost Cherry, then stay tuned to this episode of Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again and welcome to this latest episode of Mags Frags. My name's Paul and today's scent of the day is Cherry Smoke from the Tom Ford Private Blend Collection. It's classed as an amber spicy fragrance for men and women and it comes in an odour par from concentration. It's available in three sizes, a 30ml, a 50ml and a 100ml bottle size. Uh, but when I picked this one up, they only had it in this 50ml bottle size with a, a jaw-dropping price of, just wait for it, £265, uh, which is the most I've ever paid for a fragrance in terms of price per milliliter. It actually works out at £5.30 per milliliter, uh, which is about the average amount used every single time that you apply the fragrance, which is probably about six or seven sprays. Uh, so this definitely won't be uh, my daily driver for a, a shopping trip down to the local Aldi supermarket, that is for sure. Okay, so into the presentation, and the box is pretty much identical to the uh, original Lost Cherry in terms of its design, apart from it comes in a, a deeper shade of red. Everything else is the same, and you still get the uh, the rigid box with uh, a textured finish, and also the pink label on the front, which contains the name of the house, the name of the fragrance, and also the, uh, the size and the concentration. At the top, is the uh, Tom Ford brand name uh, and then on the back is all your product information and finally at the bottom is where you'll find your barcode and your batch code which uh, on this one is A622283. The bottle looks absolutely gorgeous in this one, uh, as do all the bottles in the Tom Ford Private Blend lineup. But I must say that uh, from a total aesthetic point of view, I personally think that these uh, 50 milliliter bottles uh, just look a little bit better than the 30 milliliters and the 50s. Uh, the 30 milliliter bottle shape just looks a little bit short and stumpy in my opinion, and the 100 milliliter just looks a little bit fat with no neck. Uh, and that's probably why Tom Ford counters all uh, usually have these 50 milliliter size bottles uh, on display but who knows anyway this one comes in a, a square beveled art deco style glass bottle with a, a dark red opaque insert so you can't actually see the juice inside it kind of reminds me of a bottle of nail varnish and it's definitely a gorgeous looking bottle and a real treat for the eyes. Uh, the cap on this one is plastic and again it features the uh, the Tom Ford branding at the top there uh, but it, it doesn't click into place, it is a slide on cap so I wouldn't ever really advise picking this one up from the cap. There's a chrome atomizer which delivers uh, a decent enough spray uh, but definitely not at a, a Dior fragrance level uh, but overall the presentation on this is top quality and I think the bottles in this range are probably my favorite looking ones out of uh, any fragrance brand okay so into the note breakdown and the top notes in this are saffron and sour cherry in the heart there's leather and Chinese osmanthus and the base notes in this one are woody notes smoke and cypriol oil Okay, so right from the very first spray of this one, you will notice uh, a bit of a difference between this one and the Lost Cherry version, but it's not a, a huge difference, and you do still get lots of the uh, Lost Cherry DNA in here, although this is noticeably darker and less sweet right out of the gate. And for me, it's more of a masculine take on the original, which I fully expected it to be simply by the, uh, the name of the fragrance. However, if I were to name this one, I would have probably called it Cherry Leather 
leather because to my nose this has much more of a leather accord than it does a smoky one and what I get from this one is like a hybrid of Lost Cherry and Tom Ford's Ombre leather uh, which have fused and been blended together I am going to be honest though, um, my initial first impression when I tested these two side by side was that I actually preferred the smell of the opening in the original Lost Cherry regardless of this one being this shiny new kid on the block and probably being more suitable for men to wear etc. The OG is just uh, a bit sweeter and more delicious smelling after the initial spray whereas this one is instantly less of a, a like a gourmand type fragrance uh, that you wish you could eat or drink but having said that the opening is the only part where I think the OG gets the upper hand on this and uh, once they both dry down this one uh, kind of out outperforms the uh, the other one in every department so as this one dries down the heart notes of leather and osmanthus become uh, very prominent and the osmanthus known, uh, note is known to give off kind of facets of fruity apricot so you do get a nice sweet fruitiness which continues through into the far dry down long after the cherry has kind of faded away. Then in the far dry down is where you'll pick up on the woodiness and a, a bit more of its smoky character and by this point uh, this one's kind of transformed into a fragrance that you won't recognise or associate with lost cherry at all and it ends up being more of a semi-sweet leathery woody scent with just a hint of musk and a, a tiny remainder of fruitiness in there also this is definitely going to be appreciated uh, more by men uh, but I also think women will love it too it's uh, a darker and more sexy smelling than the original whilst retaining lots of the playful sweet uh, sweetness found in Lost Cherry I really like the balance of everything in this scent uh, the leather is not intense as what you get in say ombre leather uh, and the cherry isn't as sweet as what you get in Lost Cherry so I think it will appeal to kind of a wider audience and be a real huge hit This is a pretty versatile scent that I'd have no issues wearing all year round here in the UK apart from maybe the hottest days of summer. It's sexy enough to wear as a night out fragrance but you could also easily wear this one casually or as a, a daily work scent just as long as you've got deep enough pockets to be able to fund it. For me personally I see myself wearing this one for more dressed up uh, evening events and special occasions. In terms of uh, leaning masculine or feminine I'd say that it doesn't actually lean either masculine or feminine but I do think that men might enjoy this one more than Lost Cherry and maybe women will generally prefer the original over this one but I could be wrong on that one. This one has fairly decent performance and lasts much longer on skin uh, than the original Lost Cherry does. I've always been really critical about the performance of the original which seems to all but fade to nothing on me after about the hour mark uh, but I'm pleased to say it's a different story with this one and I find this to have much more longevity even though it's still not what I'd class as a, a powerhouse kind of fragrance. You'll probably get about three or four hours on skin and a bit more if you apply a couple of sprays to your clothes. The projection is okay and it will get you noticed for a couple of, uh, from a couple of feet away uh, but it's not what I'd describe as a loud projector or a room filling fragrance. I think the leather and the woods really help to improve the staying power but like I said earlier this one does develop and transition into a scent that doesn't really resemble lost cherry as it gets into its final hour or two so enjoy, enjoy that cherry note as much as you can for the time that it's around. Yeah this one is undeniably a gorgeous smelling fragrance and overall I'd say it's an improvement on the original Lost Cherry DNA. The performance has also seen like a, a noticeable improvement and the presentation as always with this whole line is first class. For me though the only downside is the price and at £265 for just a 50ml bottle uh, it's kind of bordering on ridiculous for most people who just work normal jobs and it's simply unaffordable. You also know that in a matter of weeks uh, the clone houses will have this one nailed to perfection especially the Middle Eastern brands who are masters at leather and smoky scents so they'll probably come out with uh, one that smells exactly the same with better performance uh, for about 20 or 30 pounds for a 100ml bottle size.
However, you can now pick up the uh, the original Lost Cherry in the UK at Argos of all places, and it's priced at just £149 for this size bottle, which is still a st uh, like a touch steep in my opinion, but much less of a, a bitter pill to swallow compared to this one, almost double the price. If uh, this was if this one was priced at say £100, it'd be a 10 out of 10 fragrance for me all day long. But with such a hefty price tag, I have to give it like a 7 out of 10 in terms of value for money. Yeah, so once again, that's about it for this latest episode. And it's always great to talk about uh, new releases and to bring something new and fresh and exciting uh, to the channel. So hopefully I will be able to bring you plenty more uh, new releases over the coming weeks because January and February are usually the hottest months of the year for uh, new fragrance launches. The channel is now literally within touching distance of reaching uh, a major milestone of 1 million channel views. Uh, so to anyone who's ever tuned in or subscribed or been a regular visitor, I just want to say a huge thank you to you all for your continued support and kindness that you've kind of shown me over the past three years. I'm going to really go hard in 2023 and uh, absolutely smash the granny out of it. So I hope you all stick around and uh, come along with me for the ride. So once again, thank you very much for uh, tuning into this latest episode. Have a great 2023. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh, and I'll see you very soon for another one. Ta-ra for now.